as they talked, a dog that was lying there lifted his head and pricked up his ears. This was Argus, whom Odysseus himself had patiently bred, but never got to enjoy, before he left for Ilion. There lay the hound Argus, infested with lice, and now, when he sensed Odysseus was near, he wagged his tail and dropped both ears, and could not drag himself near his master. Zeus takes away half a man's worth the day he loses his freedom. So saying, Eumaeus entered the great house, and the hall filled with the insolent suitors. And the shadow of death descended upon Argus, once he had seen Odysseus after twenty years. So, again, this is the uh, ancient perspective in a way. Um, again, things have not changed mu much. You know, we're human beings and we establish a connection with our pets, uh, dogs in particular, and uh, it was the same, you know, uh, 3,000 years ago. You know, the realization of seeing him grow old, I always thought that we could hold on to him forever, you know, that you know, even if he grew old, that maybe we would you know, be able to help his joints out and get his body in shape and, you know, he wouldn't really have to worry about that. The thing is, you know, when you're a kid and you have a dog like that and he's with you for such a long amount of time, um, you know, I was in denial for death and I was in denial of the idea of, you know, um, that ever happening to me or my dog. Uh, you know, he was always a great dog that would always love to come see me. And to see him always have a smiling face and always be excited, you know, every time I went through that door, it really did help me you know, keep it together and grow better as a person. It didn't matter if it was in the middle of the day, late at night, or early in the morning. You know, I'd come home to him and he would always be excited to see me. And um, my characteristics kind of worked with his a lot too. We were very similar because, you know, we were both very stubborn. Uh, you know, we both loved to just have fun and we, uh, we didn't really have too many cares in the world, you know. Um, him and I would be a very dangerous duo because we would just get into, you know, trouble together. You know, we'd play games together, we used to play hide and seek a lot. Just having a lot of fun things to do with him, besides just, you know, the mundane, was really special. You know, I would teach him tricks that he would only do with me, and you know, that was a really big part of the bonding experience. To us, our dogs are a part of our lives. But for them, we are their whole lives. For me, my dog is much more than a pet. They are a gateway for us to understand the ideas of mortality, death, and living a happy life. Much like dogs, humans are curious creatures. We are always trying to understand the unknown. I have been spending my years trying to let my dog know that I love him, and that even after all the emotional trauma, all the stuff we've been through, he has always remained by my side. The journey is nearing the end, and as most humans, I am dreading that day for when it happens. So for now, I want to show him the love and care that all humans and dogs have for each other. And that, even in ancient times to now, we have always loved and cared for them. Not as just creatures, but as guardians of peace. <laughs>